Welcome to another Stage Analysis video. It's Wednesday the 24th of April 2024. I'm going to do a, just a brief video just to see what's been been moving this week on the, the rebound in the in the markets using the, the new interactive bell curve and also discuss a, a few minor new features that I've added this week. Going to be, going to be moving on, adding some more stuff tomorrow as well. So going into the, the sub industry bell curve, you can see here we've actually broadened out a little bit this week more coming back into the the middle ranges but in the the strong section so everything above 60 percent here we've actually seen this week a lot of moves with some of the the more defensive areas utilities 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 in the having the, the stronger move so anything in this for those of you that don't know in uppercase means it's got a, a positive um, move on the week in terms of there's stocks within each one of these that have actually moved above a score of six or above so you can see this one moved plus two but it's still only a five so that one wouldn't count towards the weekly score but this one did move above a six so by plus four on this week so that it would add to that and hence that would sh make that show up as a, the group on the move this week you can see we've got a number of financials so everything in yellow is financials here so uppercase ones we've got what, five five of the financial sub industries are having a, a positive week this week so if i have a look at a couple of these so multi-line insurance for example reasonably small group you see there's a bunch in here that have had a, a positive move this week as is another area is energy so we've seen a few of the energy groups so integrated oil and gas oil exploration and production moving up so 85 percent range for this one here so if we look through the the oil and gas exploration production group you can see at the top here if i click into a few of the ones on the move so we go into their actual stock pages so ar this has had earnings in the after hours so a little feature that i've added this week to make it easier so when you charts on the website are for research purposes not meant to be used like um, as a as a charting platform you need your um, trading view stock charts and um, trend spider whatever for for daily intraday moves and and live chart action so these are meant for helping you to research the stocks and just to have a, a clean stage analysis chart that's in a, a unified approach so that all of the charts always look the same and so you can when you're comparing stocks you can immediately see what they're doing but what i have added to make it easier for you when you're looking at these pages and as you're you might be looking at them intraday you might quickly want to go to the see what the stock is doing so ar for example here at the moment leading the oil and gas exploration production group so mansell relative strength score positive there it's on a start of 10 so it's got 10 out of 10 of the, the stage two characteristics that we look for having a, a further breakout this week you can see by the, the green down here what i've added at the bottom of the chart here if i scroll down a tiny bit here you see it is a, a live chart open on trading view so i might add other platforms as well but the fact that we've got with trading view so if i zoom in here so if i change it with my presets as you can see we've got exactly the the same chart i'll just push this out to make it a little bit clearer so you can see we've got the exactly the same chart as we've got in here so scroll back onto the onto the page come back towards trading view so you can see there oh, wrong way you can see they're basically identical setups on the charts you've got the 10 week moving average the 30 week moving average the amount of relative strength underneath and the the sata score at the bottom of the chart so i've got this set up and saved as a as a preset so I'm using the, the seven on the line there, so I'm gonna change that back down to a, a six to be exactly the same as on the on the website. But you can with Trading View you can create your own presets. So if you go up to indicator templates, which is up here, so these four little boxes. So if you click on those, once you've set up the chart, so you've added the SATA indicator, you've added the a second SATA indicator, and then just selected the line. So on this one, for example, the breakouts and breakdowns, you've only got breakouts and breakdowns selected on the chart. So if you tick that, untick that, it shows the box. All of these other ones are, are turned off the other 10 scores. You only need that one line, and then you make the, the breakouts and breakdowns line. You've got your man's sort of relative strength indicator, the 
Man flattened version of that turned on so you can use the you can switch that to be the the one with the, the zero line the the original style if you want so you can see like so but if you want it to to match the website i'll use the unflattened version so if you just untick that and remove the zero line you can see that's the the unflattened version so you can save this as i said as a preset so if you come up come up here into this area click on this say save indicator template you can save the name you can remember the interval in terms of if you want it to always open on the weekly chart but the good thing about this is that you can obviously set other you've got your other presets etc so you're coming from the website you're looking at the weekly chart you can see it's on a it's on a SATA 10 it's in a reasonably good position here moving into early stage two for the, the last month or so here and had earnings after the close today so if we look at this on a, a daily chart so you can see it's reacted positively earnings at the moment you can even drop down to, to lower time frames your half a day time frame the 195 minute time frame or a two hour chart etc so you can then use intraday charts with it you can switch back to your, your weekly if you want but that's a, a quick way that you can once you've found stocks from going through the various group themes and finding areas of strength, you can quickly just flick into trading view. You can have exactly the same chart set up and then you can use it live intraday and to obviously trade from. So I think that's a, that's a nice little addition. You find it down here at the bottom of the chart, just a little link at the moment. So I might add other ones for, for stock charts, trend spider, etc., but they won't have the stage analysis technical attributes indicator on them and they won't have the man sort of relative strength as set up like this i think Transpider have added um a version of the man sort of relative strength which they've copied the, the settings from my original post on that i've noticed as they're using the the 200 day moving average i think they got it from um chart mill which got theirs from mine originally um, from my site originally in the forum so so basically they that's actually been updated these days. So the 200 day moving average on the daily chart for the amount of relative strength, we now use the 252 to actually match the, the 52 week moving average. So theirs is a little bit different. You'll find if you if you use it on a, a daily basis um, chart. So coming out of this, get back out of that one in a minute. So going back through these oil and gas, so as we were going through the oil and gas exploration and production stocks here, you can see they're all early stage two type moves, strong sector, strong industry, moving higher in early stage two, good SAR scores on these. So you can see how the, the strong theme in this is highlighted on the on the chart basically. So other areas this week we've seen strengthening, you can see down in here. So the, the light blue is, you can see all the, the tech stocks have been strengthening but they're still down in the the lower third of the chart so below the 40 percent level is what we call the weak zone so these are areas that have lost their the amount of stocks on a SATA 6 or above so for example your semiconductors in the 25 percent range at the moment so you can see there's only these what, three six eight stocks basically on a SATA 6 or above i.e that are technically healthy and the rest of these ones are, are obviously either in the weak or the neutral zone so but you can see there's been a if we do it by change you can see there's been a bunch of positive changes this week so currently still being led by SMTC so we look at that that broke out into stage two a little while ago highlighted that when it did four weeks ago four or five weeks ago here so this one's looking to go for a, a stage two continuation attempt so again this is a, a really easy way that you can use this to to find the groups on the move the table below also makes it really easy to see what's moving so it's done by strength in terms of the they're grouped by the percentages in the columns so at the moment you've got the, all of these on a hundred percent but you can see on a one week change basis you've got these four sub industries that have been on the move this week in the hundred percent range so paper products multi-family residential REITs integrated oil and gas and gas utilities you can see at the top here the sectors we've got materials utilities energy industrials so financials it's very much those sectors dominating the, the top of the chart at the moment but you can see there's a 
on on the move more utilities down here more energy more financials in the all in the, the positive columns so if you want to actually see them in order make it a tiny bit easier if you order by the week first and then you change the SATA column it bunches them up to the, the top of the area so you can see these four are the, the ones on the move this week in the 100% range and so in the 80 to 93% range there you've got you've got these on the move so you can quickly do that or you can just look at the, the one week change altogether and just go down by order of strength and see what's what's moving so you can see there has been a, a lot on the move this week but from the actual the chart itself you can see it's as I said financials REITs utilities you've got staples on the move industrials in the, the upper mid zone here so you can quickly go through those and see what's moving so if we look at the sectors you can see utilities at the moment they've got 80.7 percent on a technically healthy score so i.e start to six or above energy's got 65.82 materials 52.34 so there's only two in what we consider the strong zone which is 60 percent and above at the moment materials have dropped out this week back into the, the neutral ranges so this is the neutral range between 40 and 60 here so we've got four sectors in the, the neutral range at the moment financials industrials staples so all of those i was just telling you about there on the bell curve in that area so and then at the weaker end below 40 percent and below 30 percent at the moment for these technology for example has only got 21.67 percent of its stocks on a technically healthy score so they're either on a the majority 70 what eight percent and a bit there are either on uh, a weak score or a neutral score so they could they might be in stage four or they might be in stage one or three or basing in stage two so you generally when you have a, a strong score you are trending in stage two but when you've got a, a weak score or you've got a neutral score you might be basing or you might be downtrending so at the moment there's a lot more in basing in tech at the moment and um, than stage fours to be fair so you need to delve into the, the groups to have a look at those other ways of looking at this data on here you can see utilities on the, the sector bell curve at the top here this way so you can do it by the bell curve you can do it by the the actual just the grid table that i have if you look at the the gix groups you can see here again utilities real estate all the way down the bottom there semis is still quite low software is quite low that's the i think it's 25 gix groups and then in the, the 70 or so, I think there's like 75 to of the, the industry's bell curve. You see, as I said, utilities, REITs, multi-utilities, electric utilities, oil. So these are broader groups. So again, I'm going to have the bell curves for all of these with interactive and color coded as well in the, in the coming weeks. Once I've got the, the initial bell curve, so you can see this one, which we go back it's now color coding and interactive so they will all work they will all work the same and they'll have their own pages in the coming weeks so that you'll be able to just go by sector or just go or see what's actually moving here a few filters want to add to just to this page is I'm gonna make it so that you can filter out the the different sectors on here so if you're only interested in tech or you're only interested in discretionary, then you'll just see those. And then it'd be much easier to, to click through. And the same on the on the table view here. So at the moment, in order to see it by sector, you have to go to the sector and then do that. A flick like change the change the order to the, the sector there, and then you can obviously see which ones are on the move. So you can see communication services this week have all been flat except for one which has been negative. Look at discretionary here, quite it's a much bigger sector. So you can see there's been multiple in this keeps going down to the bottom here, but we've had multiple positive moves in the discretionaries this week. If you look at staples again, multiple positive moves in the staples. So I'm going to make it so that the table is just these. You can just look at the sector individually without having to, to scroll all the way down through all 163 sub industries to, to find what you're looking for. So a few other new features I've added this week. So I've changed the on the right hand side in the members dashboard to down this side here. 
I've changed the, the order of this and added a, a bunch of new little links. So you've now got the US market ETFs snapshot up the top here. You've then got the, the ETF summary, which takes you through to this page. So you can see the, the SARS scores of the, the general ETFs here. So we've got the, the sub industries bell curve, which as you know, takes us through to here. So we're gonna have the, the other bell curves and sector stuff in there too. We've got the US stocks, the full list at the top here. Then I've made these sub lists. So if you click into to US stocks, for example, brings you to the table. You can see which stocks are the strongest, which are the, which are the, at the weaker end. So, and you can do it by change. So at the moment, GPI, for example, has had a biggest change this week, plus nine, huge move. So I had to check that one to make sure it was right, but you can see that uh, it was a gap up move on earnings. We've got potential stage two continuation attempt. So it's in stage three, technically, with the, the break above here, potentially attempting to make a new stage two continuation attempt. So as I said, you can use the, the new live chart feature. You wanna check that on trading view. To come through onto onto trading view here if i zoom in on this a little bit change it to my stage analysis chart so i might want to look at it on the daily basis for example so you can see with earnings here this one has, has popped up it had earnings on the oops, today actually right so it gapped up must have been before the open but making a new continuation attempt on some strong relative volume here you can see massive relative strength popping up on that as well. So could be moving to make a stage two continuation, could still be in stage three. So, but its technical attribute score has, has certainly improved here. So as I said, that's another way you can look at it. So you can see where all the strong moves for the week are. You can do change by negative moves. You'll look what's had a bad move. So JetBlue highlighted this one at the weekend, had earnings coming up. So passenger airlines were good last week, but had earnings and has taken a dump on earnings. So making a, a break back down here, back down to the, where it was starting to break out. So not really had an early attempt to move up into stage two, but was still under declining 30 week moving average. So it was a borderline case. So again, if we go to a, a daily chart on this one, for example, you can see that, change it to a daily. You can see that the gap up move here technically moved it into stage two with the, the break back down through here though. It's potentially now failing. So it looks like it's, it's gonna be a failed stage two breakout attempt on that one on earnings results. So, right, and come back to the members page. So a couple of other ones down here, down the side, I've added this custom lists. So this will all turn into a new big navigation at some point soon, but at the moment I'm focused on creating the features for the website. So just adding them down the, the right hand side at the moment, just so that you've got access to them. So you can now go to, this is a new one, US, US ETFs. So the full list of what I've got loaded at the moment. So if we click into that, you can see at the moment we've got all of these ETFs loaded. These bottom ones I've, I've turned off at the moment. They've got some issues. A few of the three times ones had some spikes on the on weekly bars for, for some reason on those. So I've hidden those at the moment. But you can see by where the strongest areas are, i.e. agriculture, copper, base metals, utilities, copper again, silver miners. So you can look at the silver junior ETFs, for example. Look at gold, look at precious metals fund. All of these are now in this singular list and I'll start adding more. So as we as we go on, so where was so we look at the, the one week change, for example, corn on the move this week in potential stage four B minus. So if I open again that in trading view, you can have a look at, at that one in a little bit more, more detail. Go to a daily chart. You can see the, the attempt to move into stage four B minus. I've actually got this on the, if we go to commodities on here, I'm not sure which one is the, is the corn low oh, wheat. Soybean. So I'm going to try and add all of the, the various ETFs for this one. So here you go, here's the corn futures. So ZC is the corn futures. So the Techium fund does a reasonably good job of, of 
tracking that one. So we go back to a weekly chart of this one, for example. And then come back to ours. So fairly similar to the, the futures with that one. So the ETF's doing a reasonably good job of tracking that. So potential stage four B minus in this one. So looking for it to, to run up towards its 200 day moving average, potentially make a stage two breakout attempt, but we will see on that one. So that's another way that you can, the new ETFs list down here, I've also added in the, the other list that I talked about last week. We got precious metals, crypto, uranium, copper, and lithium there. So precious metals, you want to see. You can see at the moment not many positive moves this week. There's a few minor positive moves, but the majority of them having a flat or negative week at the moment. You can also so crypto stocks has been a bunch on the move this week. So CLSK, for example, having a strong week. Cypher mining having a strong week. Wolf was doing all right, but let's pull back a little bit now. So you can see in here plus four, plus three. So we do it by change. Riot, Hut, Marathon have all had reasonably good weeks through here as they've moved higher. So the cryptos have have been doing doing well this week. So you can find that in there as well. We look at uranium. Not much in the way of positives this week. Only NXE, but a couple of negatives. Copper stocks also negative mostly for the week here but overall still very technically healthy majority of the group these two have got problems at the moment so I haven't loaded them yet so they'll try and get them sorted out then with the lithium stocks we've had a SGML I think that's in a stage 4 B minus potential position for that one as well so again we open it in trade and view go to our daily chart on that you can see potential base structure has been been developing on this one so just above its 50 day moving average so looking for that to, to make a little break above start to, to build its way out back towards this still declining 200 day moving average maybe so okay so if I go back there just to so they're what I've added at the moment on the right hand side. As I said, there's going to be, be adding more in the in the coming weeks. So just adding, gradually doing stuff, trying to trying to make sure that everything is as useful, as minimal bugs as possible. I've only been doing stuff for the desktop really that have done some minor stuff for mobile. But the the mobile all of the mobile stuff will, will come in time. I wanna, I'm want i focusing on getting the, it done for the, the desktop mostly at the moment, especially if, like the interactive bell curve, it's very difficult to, to have that, use that on, on mobile. So recommend obviously using it on the, on the desktop, these kind of features at the moment, but you can, I have, have done some bits for the, the mobile. I've limited the, the data you can see so it can fit in the tables, but there's a few few bugs in there which I, I need to deal with still. So let me know if you do find anything like that, but otherwise I will continue to, to build out these these stage analysis features and try to to make the the method as easy as possible for everybody to, to understand. So hopefully it's useful to you and I appreciate your being members and I'll see you on the next one.